<laughs> you're fine. You're fine with losing with the black pieces. Okay, now don't play your stupid uh, black war team. I will. I wasn't going to, and then you know you. You're playing the black one. Is this the one? You're playing a fantasy version. No, you didn't play CC. This is no, this is no fantasy. Good, good. Play this again. Ask you to receive. Now let's get the bishop. Let's cast it. I gotta protect my stuff. You don't know how to win this. Maybe. But it is blitz, so it's just a pawn. It's just, a, just behind in the bell. I think something has a problem here. Something got us. Boy, am I scared. I appreciate your concern. Oh, no. Thank you. The tackle 
It's very hippie to me. Hey guys, Brian here, and a great finish by Hippie Rob here, and I think what helped him here, what do I say guys, lateral moves, hard to see, but also it's not a known painting pattern, I mean, it's kind of like a, if the king was here, Forrest would have seen it, but since it's like one thing away, it's kind of awkward, and and uh, the rook is kind of hiding the escape route, blocking the escape route, I think all that kind of contributed to the mate there at the end and beautiful job by Hippie Rob noticing what changed in position and boom nice way to finish it off and I think going over here maybe like a uh, rook here and uh, this could be one continuation and the game is dead even here at 0, 0.0 but just goes to show you man even for the feisty one lateral moves hard to see man very very hard to see so beautifully done Hippie Rob that was a great Hippie attack indeed so um, I think going over here this is uh, Rob's biggest advantage in the game. In the game, we had uh, 3.6 to 1.5. Will be another move for White here. This is a very, very hard attack to see. It, it it's really hard. So give it your best shot, and let's see what you got. Yes. First off, D5. What the heck? All right. You'll see where this is going. Don't want to take because you're gonna. Invite a lot of stuff. Queen e8, get out of this uh, x-ray. And then, what do you play here? Yes, knight g6. What the heck a uh, free knight? You got to take it, right? Let's just take it and see what happens. Boom. Now, what do you play? What? Another free... I'm telling you, this is why I told you this attack would be hard to see. All right, let's see what happens if take... Now, what do you play? Yes, queen c5, and now you're beginning to see why to clear for the bishop and here to kind of uh, clear the way for the queen to come in. And if king d7, you need to get mated, so kind of have to bring the queen in here and obviously what we'll be winning. So going all the way back here, you can't take, let's say you play rook takes instead. What do you play here? Yes, knight takes a7, check, removing the defender of this knight, and now you see you can get that knight back that you sacked here earlier and this could be one continuation queen a8 um, giving escape route for the king check and this could be one continuation and when the game has settled uh, white will be up 6.5 who would have seen a double knight sack like that right I mean but but some interesting principles to keep in mind for the attack clearance for your for your pieces especially that nasty bishop as well as um, clearance here for a path to the king so so cool cool clearance sacrifices there but very, very hard to see when you're the one playing man outsider sees everything but nice fun game between these two and uh, the, the, the hippie attack proved to be superior in this game. Beautifully done, Rob. Great fight for us. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know just the game comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to that notification. Thanks. I'll see you guys tomorrow.